Hey class, welcome back. Cool, so uh, this week we're gonna go over signal processors. So this is gonna be over chapter seven, so again, make sure you're, you're reading the chapters, uh, make sure you've already got that read before we go through. So I'm just gonna kinda reiterate a few things I really wanna kinda make sure you understand. Signal processors uh, take an original signal and manipulate it uh, to produce a new sound, which is pretty cool. That's, you know, it's like your reverbs, your delays, compressors, gating, all sorts of fun stuff that can be done to just manipulate the signal, turn it into something new. Uh, this comes in different uh, formats. Uh, we got plugins, uh, pedals, rack mounts, uh, and standalone. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, so they can come in different ways. Uh, let's talk about plugins versus you know these other more like analog uh, pieces of gear, the hardware. So plugins versus the real deal. Plugins are a set of software components that add uh, specific abilities to a larger software application, such as a DAW, um, you know, Pro Tools. Um, so plugins usually emulate a real piece of hardware. Uh, however, they do not always sound the same. Um, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. Um, they usually require more extreme settings and processing power uh, from your CPU. So by more extreme settings, what I mean, you know, a typical gain reduction on an analog compressor could be something negative three, negative five, and it's going to be pretty dramatic. You know, you'll be able to hear that compression. Whereas a plug-in, you know, negative five to negative seven, sometimes even negative nine can, you know, start to be where you start to really kind of hear that compressor kick in. So you just got to keep that stuff in mind as you, as you do start messing with plug-ins versus the real deal. Um, hardware typically has real transformers, tubes, discrete electronics. Uh, this can warm up your sound quite a bit, uh, but they usually color the signal, which can be good and bad. Some people really love the color of particular uh, hardware pieces of gear, uh, where some people are like, ah, I'd rather just go straight in, not manipulate my sound. You know, so just be aware of, as you run through hardware, it does manipulate your sound. You know, pretty obviously. Um, plugins, however, can save. Uh, um, uh, can be saved and usually have presets, which is pretty cool. So if you're just getting familiar with a particular piece of uh, piece of gear, uh, especially in plug-in format, you can usually start with the presets. Uh, the presets are a good place to get started. They allow you to, you know, it, usually they'll have like on a compressor, it'll have preset for kick drums, for vocals, for guitar, you know, so, so you know, professional has kind of got it all set up for you. You know, you don't have to use the presets, which is cool. You can just start with their, you know, their Unity settings and can manipulate from there. But presets are a fun place to get started, especially when you're first getting started. Um, and usually they can be saved. So every time you come back to your track, you know, a hardware piece of gear, as soon as you move the knob for the next session, it's not going to save for your old settings. So you're always having to, you know, take note. Whereas uh, plugins, you can just save your session. It saves all your plugin information and, uh, and details. And of course, one plug-in can be put on multiple tracks. So you buy one instance of a compressor for $29, you can put that thing on every, all, you know, as many, as many tracks as you can until you run out of processing power, effectively. Whereas hard, hardware pieces of gear, sometimes you can spend $100 to $1,000 uh, per channel. You know, so just keep that in mind. Cool, so... Uh, Signal processors are usually uh, done in one of two ways. We've got serial and parallel. Um, I've, I've kind of been uh, hammering this in from the beginning, but I just wanted to kind of reiterate again what those are. So series processing, that's where the original signal is processed to create a new signal. So like a, a compressor would take the original signal, compress it, and then out of the compressor, you just have the new compressed signal. Uh, you know, it's gonna be based off of the original signal, but your new signal will be manipulated, processed different than the original. Um, parallel processing, however, is different because it's going to retain the original signal and it's going to allow you to blend it with the new uh, process signal. So um, we'll, we'll go over how to do that uh, uh, here in just a little bit. But uh, uh, series, uh, you know, again, that's where your signal goes into the processor and out of the processor, and you get your new process signal. Parallel. We're going to go uh, from the source, uh, it's going to go to some sort of split where we're going to split the signal to go to some sort of blend knob where we can then blend the affected signal with our non-affected signal. And so that way out of the output is our new blended signal. Um, that's good for like reverbs, time-based effects, things of that nature where we want to retain the, the direct signal. Uh, but then be able to control the amount of reverb, you know, on a whole, completely separate fader. 
which is pretty neat. Cool. Um, so signal processors usually come in uh, one of two different types. Um, so these types are dynamic versus time-based processing. So our dynamic processing, uh, those are usually control the dynamic range, the, the dynamic range of an instrument. Uh, dynamic range is effectively the difference between your loud parts and your soft parts. So like a compressor is going to decrease the dynamic range where the whole thing can be increased in volume, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, Time-based processors, like reverbs and stuff, are going to thicken a signal. Uh, they're going to simulate uh, an environment or imaginary space. So uh, that's it for this lecture. However, I want you all to uh, pay attention to the next two lectures. We're going to go over uh, dynamic processing separate from time-based. Um, so make sure you check that out. I appreciate you and hope to see you soon.